This is Ron Rubel in Jefferson City, Tennessee. This is a short video on historic building restoration using old bricks and the incorrect mortar. As you can see, some of these bricks are falling apart. There's actually pieces that fell down. This is not from physical. This is actually from water inside the bricks, breaking the bricks apart. Old bricks made 1920s and before are very soft and they need to breathe. Yeah, if you're using old bricks, you have to use mortar that is softer than the brick. They use a high lime mortar, which you can find more information on the internet. But if you take old bricks like somebody did here and use the modern mortar, which is extremely hard, the moisture in the bricks have no, no place to go and it ends up destroying the bricks and it comes apart from the outside. If you're using old bricks, you need to use the old style mortar and you can find formulas for making your own. It's a lime type mixture. If you're doing a small repair on a old building, especially ones before 1920s, you need to use uh, the same soft mortar. There is a couple companies that actually make the stuff. It's kind of expensive trying to do a whole brick wall, but making minor restoration, it is uh, cheaper and easier. Uh, I will put the information in my next video. But if you're re using old bricks, that is 1920s or before, remember they're soft and moisture builds up and needs to breathe out. The mortar needs to be soft and you need to use the old style mortar. It tends to wash away easier, that's why people don't like it, but here's a whole brick wall, not my building, somebody else's in Jefferson City, that the damage is significant the old bricks is coming apart from the moisture and it's popping the surfaces out. Anyway, this is Ron Rubel in Jefferson City, Tennessee.